Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's mathematics time. So I want you to be ready. And you know what? Today is Thursday. Wow. So it's weekend time. It's Thursday all day long. So tomorrow and after tomorrow, you can take a break. So everyone, let's continue the lesson of yesterday. Today, we don't have a new lesson, so we are going to continue the lesson that we have started yesterday. So everyone, here's the title of the lesson, and I need your help. Who can help? I need someone to read the title of the lesson. Make picture graphs. Well done. And I want something else. I want you to grab some papers and also pencils to write the day and date. So let's read the day and date together. Thursday, April 16, 2020. So write the date everyone and let's get started. So everyone, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use data to create picture graphs. Here we go, mental math. So please read the question carefully and answer. Please take your time to avoid any mistakes. So everyone, I want you to pay attention to listen carefully uh, to what I'm going to say. So everyone, we're going to revise what how we studied yesterday. So first of all, what is similar about tally charts and picture graphs? So everyone, look over here. As you can see, this is a tally chart and this is a picture graph. And the difference here is in the tally chart we use tally marks to show the data while in the picture graph we use pictures to show the data but we use two of them to show the collected or the information collected and this we call it data so everyone as you can see here is the picture graph and how do you know it's a picture graph? It's not a tally chart because we used pictures to show information or the information collected. Again, the tally chart over here and the picture graph also. In the tally chart, we use tally marks. In the picture graph, we use pictures. So a picture graph has different pictures to show information collected. We call it data. And let's read this together. Picture, graphs, and tally charts use symbols to represent data. Each symbol or picture is equal to one object. So everyone, look at this task. So how do we use the information from the tally chart to create the picture graph? So what you're going to do is to transfer the tally marks into pictures. So everyone, let me show you the first one and you try to do the same later on. Um, so, as you can see here, the first step is to collect the data. So, we have two Bs. So, we're going to draw two tally marks and then two pictures over here. You can draw the B, but for me, I can't. It's hard to control the pen. So, and you're going to do the same, everyone. You're going to count how many lady bugs you can see and then... For example, there is one, two, three, four. So we are going to um, draw four tally marks and then you'll draw pictures here. 
this is the way to use the tally chart and also the picture graph so everyone uh, after revising all the information we have about picture graph and tally chart let's everyone look at the tally chart and say how many boys are at the park what you're going to say what you're going to do is to after reading the question carefully you will try to find the key words how many boys are at the park so we're talking about boys so you're going to check how many boys they are six so the answer is six well done everyone thank you for helping so everyone we are going to watch a video about tally chart and picture graph so pay attention and listen carefully everyone mr green's class made a survey to find out students favorite sports Mr. Green asks, what is your favorite sport? Soccer, hockey, swimming, or baseball? Five chose soccer, three chose hockey, four chose swimming, and three chose baseball. The students make a pictograph. Pictographs use a chosen symbol or image to represent numbers from a survey. Mr. Green's class chooses a soccer ball as their symbol. First, the class makes a title for their pictograph. Favorite sports. Next, they label the four sport choices on the side of their graph. Then they make a key so that they can remember that one soccer ball equals one student. Finally, they draw the same number of soccer balls as the number of students that said they liked that sport the most. See if you can answer the So everyone, as you can see, here's the tally chart and here's the picture graph. We're using the same data. If you can see, five tally marks and five pictures. Three tally marks and three pictures. Four tally marks and four pictures and finally three tally marks and three pictures this question mr green asks his class what is the most popular sport according to the pictograph do you have a question you'd like to ask your friends and family do a survey and show their answers on a pictograph so everyone, task options, um, we have two, task number one and task number two, so you can choose one of them or you can do two of them, it's up to you. So let's read the question, this is task number one, so let's read carefully and remember you need to circle the information you need and also to find the keywords. So let's say Jude asked in people their favorite flower. One said tulips. So one, so we're gonna go to tulip here. So we're gonna draw only one flower. It's hard for me to draw, I will try. Then same number of people say daisies. So we're gonna also draw one. Uh oh. And so the same number we said here and carnations also the same so we're gonna draw one and five said roses so we're gonna draw, draw five here one two three four five everyone please draw nice flowers so here is task number two, try to read carefully, circle the numbers and find the keywords. Let's 
let's move to closure circle the picture that matches the word here just as you can see the word is picture graph so where's the picture graph you need to circle the picture graph finally please please don't forget to upload your answers in your portfolio in glass dojo and have a great day my second graders and enjoy your weekend have a nice weekend everyone